Hello, today I'm going to present the paper An Exploration of Creative Cognitive Process by translating the observation into the early stage of the product design development. Apply the experimental project Design Consciousness, Small Things with Big Heart as an example to 2020 DMI ADMC conference. Today's presenter is myself, Shang Hong from MIT IDM program, and my team members are John, Tim, and Almond. We really appreciate our family, DMI, MI Creative Center, Pearl Creative, IDEO, Fudan University, Shanghai Institute of Visual Arts, Jingchen 3D, MIT, MIT H Lab, and people who fully support and sponsor this research project. We have four sections today, project overview, literature review, case study, and the key takeaway. This study explores the designer's creative process through the lens of uh, the cognitive side and how effectively influences early stage product development by conducting the experimental project, design consciousness, small things with big heart. The study contributes to design research by providing a creative framework which categorize seeing into three layers with different definition accordingly. Observation, consideration, and interpretation through an inquiry-driven process. By utilizing the creative cognitive framework, the experimental project endeavors to remind them that whoever is always aware of their own behaviors in whatever circumstances deserve a life with better quality. The study tries to visit products of everyday use by adopting the creative process and framework from the cognitive side. Here are the keywords, creative cognitive process, design consciousness, creative process, observation, daily item, product development, product design. The keywords are all interconnected, interrelated, and represent the essence of this study. Chapter one, introduction. Designers of products, fashion, services, space, or media have long relied upon their observation of the world to understand what will resonate with the people they want to attract from Surrey and Howard. In the study, the team initiative a modified ethno eth ethnographic research tool, the creative cognitive process to experiment with a new type of design yet context defined research methodology that influenced the early stage of the product development process. The creative cognitive process was applied to one three month project design spring project sponsored by Emma Creative Center Design in Residence Program to validate the hypothesis of the new experimental research tool, as well as to refine the research tool itself for further study. Let's move on to chapter two, methodology overview. Ethnography research tool is a context driven approach that assists the research team in naturally capturing the texture of local people's life pattern and trace and to transfer the learning to the design team for creating the tangible or intangible project relevant to the target group. Daily diary designs are also called daily process designs. The intention of daily diary design is to minimize the influence from the research team on the subjects in order to capture life as it is lived, which means the subject will be observed in the most natural way without least artificial setting and design. Daily diary design have been applied in many diverse research areas, ranging in the field from clinical, cognitive, psychology to social, which capture and uh, analysis, analyze the subject's micro-level process, providing informative source to research team. In the study, the creative cognitive process is an experimental research tool and framework that use ethnography research as inspired by the book Thoughtless Act. It categorized the process into three key layers, observation, consideration, and interpretation. So each layer focuses on one question to empower the team or users to think about, think through the phenomena they've seen, experiences, and reflect in order to enhance the quality of the research result and transfer the, the learnings and insights to the further step of creation. So you can see like the first layer, observation, the orange line means like, the, like a light. So you see the reflection of the object. So you see the surface of the object. So what do you see is the first question. 
The second layer consideration is to understand you not just see the surface of the object, you also see inside, see the things behind the scene. So what do you perceive is the second question. The third question, the third layer it we call like interpretation is to see through. You not just see the exterior or in interior, you also could see things from different perspectives. So what do you conceive this is the, like the ultimate layer we call interpretation. This slide is the summarized what I've discussed. Three layers of creative content process are interdependent in a sequence. It is a useful research tool and framework when ethnography research is conducted in the field. In the case study, it will show the details of how to apply the creative cognitive process to document the notes, learning, and insight to different layers accordingly. Let us continue with chapter three, case study. Design consciousness, small thing with big heart, was a design experimental, uh, design ex experiment social impact project sponsored by Emma Creative Center Design in Resident Program in 2019. The creative content process and the 12 tangible design outcomes were part of the deliverables of the three-month design spring project. The intention of the project was to create a series of context-defined life items to improve life quality for local people through the innovative cognitive research process. These were weekly videos that I captured for the purpose of the research. In the three-month design spring project, the team planned the project in two main phases. The first phase, creative cognitive phase process, was to uh, conduct the field research to collect the context-defining yet life-relevant new raw materials. The second phase, uh, the second phase, sorry, is early stage product design development. Was about the transitional period to influence the early stage of the product development. So the diagram here, figure two, show uh, a brief design process of the project. The image diary is one of the deliverables. It captured more than 90 photos of the observation. Let's look at the structure of the book. In the template, taking and selecting the right photos were the most critical one. As the old saying goes, the picture is worth, an, uh, worth a thousand words, right? It was one of the most in intuitive way to capture the observation in context. The photos could easily encapsulate the key moments, behavior, or conversation about the subject, including the product, the tangible part, or servers and experiences around the subject, which means the intangible part. So this one page, uh, this is the one page from the image diary. I also call it creative cognitive process document sheet. The first item, context was designed to help the team articulate the first-person perspective story of the photos in short paragraph paired with uh, uh, demographic items to provide the, the accurate information such as when and where the items the team took the photo and which category like product, space, experiences it belongs to. The context and demographic were tied closely to the first layer, which is observation. The items of uh, consideration in the template was to decode the inexplicit message of the photo from multiple angles by com composing three, like by composing like three to four how many questions. The purpose was to reframe the existing pain point from observation as well as to discover the potential way opportunities areas for the third layer inspiration. The items of the concept was, uh, was to inspire the team to form their unique value propositions, opinions to the ideas generation process. The concept ranged from some like straightforward design solutions or like sophisticated execution plan to futuristic conceptual envision. So the table two, the table showed here, provide a brief definition of each item in the template. We are going to talk about transitional phase from uh, the creative cognitive process to the early product development stage. One of the application and outcome of the creative cognitive process was to create an inspiration design brief and material for the early stage of product development. The team document around like 90 selected photos, like you see here, like figure four, you can see all the photos attached to the wall. By applying the creative cognitive process to make an image diary, which was uh, a great asset and references for designers. 
In the scope of the project, the designer also translate the, the images diary into 10 daily, uh, daily items uh, about product designs. You can see figure five. The inspiration came from local people's life, their uh, interesting behaviors, day-to-day -day routine, community culture, and subtle interactions, which were all captured in the image diary. The section presented the selected document and photos by uh, applying the creative content process to early product development stage of the Tame Daily Items product designs. The team also create weekly videos to capture the local people's life and story was also part of the image story, image diary. The image show above is one of the examples from creative cognitive process document sheet. For example, in this case, how might we store daily items that fit in our daily everyday routine? How might we enhance the proper image of the product usage? How might we design a product or curate and experiences that is easy to read and understand. From the last slide of the image diary, the, the team translate that into design. This one we call like a horn hat, can make the umbrella stand stands up, dry easily, and storage in a convenient way. Let me quickly explain the, the structure of this template. So scenario, when and how to use the design, prototype, which means like what is the design looks like, Motivation, why we want to make the design. It ties to the second layer consideration with some maybe some how many question to address the pain point. Solution, further explanation about the design work. How am I, re how am I redesign the relationship between the toothbrush and the toothpaste to keep both uh, the cup and the toothbrush clean and hygienic. For the sake of time, I won't go through all the concept here but you can get a sense of it. Here, are, here comes the chapter four, summary and suggestions. So design contest. Uh, here's the story about design contest. I collaborated with the local stamp shop owner, uh, Sebastian. And he's a, it's a family business basically, and he's the fourth generation. The idea was to help the store uh, innovative through design. We co-created stamp holder via three uh, through 3D printing within like three hours. And we consider it feasibility, like desirability and uh, viability. The idea of design context was to help the team set up a feasible yet meaningful project goal to not only cater the local people's invisible needs through tangible 3D printing product designs, but also make positive influences through the design process. So the three key questions above to help the team control the quality and the outcome of the observation. The more comprehensive and in-depth the observation is, the better result the team will get, which can trigger invaluable inspiration for the following layers. So now goes to like next step for the, for the project. The first one is uh, the transitional phase from creative cognitive process to design concept. In the study, the creative cognitive process was part of the human center approach with one strong influence factor, design context. Since the team designed for local people, the, the project started from detailed observation to gather their stories. The transitional phase from the creative cognitive process to design concept was a Actually, the mix of designers' intuition, inspiration, observation, and some relevant uh, research data. In the audio and video format, this part of which wasn't included in the project. In the future studies, the research can define and develop a series of refined stages to inform the research team and users of the uh, type of stages that should be applied through a certain methodologies and input from the participants and how they function in terms of the, the resource the team needs, how much the participants are engaged, as well as the, the scope of the project and its budget. So the second point, the tension between designers' intuition, experiences, and scientific data. When the team applied the creative cognitive process in decision-making, there was always a tension between whether the team should trust the designer's intuition based on their past experiences or 
the data including research materials and observation observation photos. For the further study, it is critical to integrate the invisible, uh, invaluable experiences from the research team or designer into the creative cognitive process by utilizing the scientific data to build a robust research methodology. So this is our presentation. Thank you for your listening. Hope to see you all soon. Thank you.